Hello everybody, I am back with Pikachu and I have a nice cup of tea and I'm going to have a sip. So get yourself a cup of tea or a coffee or whatever beverage of your choice and we'll have a little catch up and I will tell you what's been going on. It is a black tea. I am a bit weird. I don't like tea in my tea. I don't like tea in my tea. <laughs> oh, I don't like milk in my tea. So no milk, no sugar, strong Yorkshire tea because that's the only tea really that I like to drink. And let's get into it. Let me put that down so I don't spill it all over me. So I haven't done a video today because if I'm completely honest, I'm not feeling very well. The past few days I have been nursing quite a nasty chest infection i've been in bed and i've been looking after myself just resting sleeping and not really being very with it if i'm completely honest i've not really posted much on instagram i have been replying back to a couple of messages so i'm hoping they make sense to anybody who has been talking to me on instagram because if they don't i apologize now but i do feel just a little bit delicate still i was intending to do a video and this is the has anyone ever seen the Tenacious D song? Has everyone seen it? Has anyone ever heard the Tenacious D song? Tribute. Well, this is like this. <laughs> this is a tribute to the video I would have done. But, you know, I'm being really silly. I can't take anything seriously. So, as you're aware, I've changed my job. And when I say changed my job, I've just gone in, back into the job I was doing years ago. I took a small career break and I'm back doing it. Now, it is further away from where I live, so if you're not aware, I know some of you are aware, I am looking to relocate, I'm looking to move closer to my workplace. At the moment, this has been going on since like September last year, <laughs> I was hoping to be relocated by January, new year, new start, you know, all that cheesy stuff people say, no. Anyway, I am still looking for somewhere to move to and yeah, looking for a property that is ideal for me and close enough to work is proving to be a little bit difficult. I am hoping that soon something will appear, but I'm looking, not having much luck. The properties I have looked at, not physically viewed, but the properties I've looked at online, some of them that look really good are either in areas that aren't the best areas. Not that I'm being judgmental or snobby. I will live anywhere, but obviously you want to be safe. <laughs> and if there's a lot of crime in a certain area, you want to avoid it. But that being said, it's finding somewhere that is a nice area, also cheap enough. A lot of the properties are quite pricey. A lot of the properties as well just are either perfect they're reasonably priced and then they're furnished and if you contact them they won't unfurnish the property for you so you can have your own furnishings and although that's not necessarily a problem i've got my own furniture which i'd rather use and it's just one of those where it's I feel like it's an uphill struggle at the moment finding somewhere. I've even looked out of sheer curiosity, and I know I'm nowhere near this age, but I've looked at retirement villages. <laughs> and I know it's silly, but some retirement villages are absolutely beautiful. And I'm just looking, not with the intention of moving in, but seeing, because some of them are absolutely stunning, some of the flats that some retirement villages have are absolutely beautiful and immaculate and i think you know what i wouldn't mind living in one of them because they're, they're just gorgeous i obviously won't be able to because i'm too young <laughs> need id to get into them but i would if they let me i would because they look reasonably priced some of them and they just you know you'd have quiet neighbors wouldn't you <laughs> i mean they might have the tv a little bit loud if they're a little bit deaf but I can deal with that. You'd have nice, respectful neighbours, you know. You'd be a nice little community and I'd be the youngest, I'd be the baby, wouldn't I? I'm being really silly. I'm not going to move into a retirement village. But I've looked out of sheer curiosity. Joking aside, it's one of these where I feel like life is just giving me a lot of challenges at the moment. I'm going to have another sip of tea because I'm parched. So... This chest infection has wiped me off my feet and I've been in bed and lying on the sofa the past few days. I feel a lot better than I did. I'm still feeling a bit groggy, feeling a bit irritable if I'm honest. Not like me at all. And I just can't be bothered. And I'm feeling like, what's the point? Now today, I had all the intention in the world to wake up about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I was gonna have a full day of getting loads of stuff done. So I had to go to the post office. I only had a couple of sales on eBay, which is something I'm gonna talk about in a minute. 
and I have also got loads of food shopping I needed to get and I need to go to Specsavers and various other places as well so I've barely got any food in the house I woke up about midday absolutely fuming at myself I forgot to set an alarm but when I did calm down I did think well I obviously need to sleep so I had a nice little lie in got up <laughs> I was annoyed. I've wasted half of the day. <laughs> Time is precious. Time is money. Look at what I've wasted. I was fuming at myself. Anyway, I was intending to do some YouTube videos as well. And it's all gone out the window. I did get up, have a wash, do my hair, all those sort of bits. Have my breakfast, cup of tea, pack the items for eBay, which were only two. And then get them sent in the post. Whilst I was doing that, I was catching up on some reselling videos that other people have been doing because eBay is a big topic at the moment and I'm not going to be talking about eBay. I'm not. I'm going to be talking about eBay but not the subject everyone's talking about. I know it's ruffling a few feathers. I managed to post my two items I sold on eBay and got some grocery shopping. I was in Tesco and I was so annoyed at myself because, you know, you need a pound coin for the trolley or a little plastic coin. I went to the security van who you probably thought bloody it's her again and i said to him i was like i'm really sorry to pester you um if he i have forgot my coin my pound coin for the trolley have you got like a plastic equivalent like a token or something i can put in and i'll give it you back at the end once i've used it so he did he said oh today's lucky day here you go so i thought thank you so much because i thought i've got a lot of shopping to get and i'm not carrying it around in a basket and i'm not doing it in i'm not going back home to get a pound coin it's ridiculous i didn't want to get any money out to break into that i thought it's absurd so he was kind got my shopping that was a chore and a half in the supermarket it's just you know when it's nothing particularly bad happened it's just irritating you're like i can't find anything i need they've i feel like they've changed the shop around which they haven't but i'm like <laughs> you know you go to a shop and you're like why have they changed stuff so i just thought this is a headache i'm not feeling well i just need to get out of the place paid for all my stuff and i did give him the coin back because he said you could have kept it. I didn't expect you to bring it back. I was like, hey, I said I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. Went down to the car, put all my shopping in. I just thought, I can't be bothered. And then I came home. And here I am now. It is six o'clock on the evening. <laughs> and I've not really done much. Now, admittedly, the past few days when I've been in bed and lying on the sofa and resting, I have been doing stuff on eBay, like refreshing some of my listings. I don't really know what to say. It's not re eBay has been absolutely shocking, and I've been thinking about this for some a few weeks really. I don't really see the point in being on eBay at the moment because I'm not making any sales for the whole of this month, and I don't know what date we are on at the moment. So it's the tenth of April at the moment. Let me put that back down there, and I've only made two sales this month so far. Two sales. And there's people who do reselling who say, I haven't made a sale today. I haven't made a sale for two days. I haven't made a sale all month. <laughs> These are the first two sales I've made. And I know it's not competition. I'm not having a go at people. I think it's great that people are making more sales than me. I'd like to be making more sales, but I just don't feel like I've got the time and energy to put into eBay like a lot of other people have. And I know it's a side hustle, and but it's not really bringing in that much money. And I'm starting to feel like, what's the point? I am trying to change things on eBay. And I've got plans of where to go in the future. And I am trialling this reselling stuff at the moment. I don't feel like it's working. I feel like I've obviously, I'm doing something wrong as to why it's not working. However, I feel like maybe there's another way to do it. I don't want to go on Vinted. I don't want to resell on Vinted. My instincts are telling me to to keep off vinted i don't know why but i've just got this feeling this you know when you get a gut instinct to not do something that's what i get with vinted there's nothing wrong with being on vinted i just don't particularly want to do that and my instincts are telling me to steer clear from it i don't know why but that's how i feel and i've had times in the past where i've not listened to my instincts and they've turned out to be right so I don't go on Vinted for that reason. But this I'm not saying don't go on Vinted. That's just me. And it might be just the fact that it doesn't fit my circumstances, which it probably that's probably what it is. You have to do what's best for you. But eBay is so shocking that I, I'm getting a bit fed up with it, if I'm completely honest. I am experimenting with reselling. So it's something that I did start doing to bring in a bit of extra money. 
it's fun i enjoy it i love the sourcing i do i find it so exciting but it's just i'm not making sales if i showed you how many items i've got and where i keep my reselling stock i think you'd be shocked to be fair because i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you how many items i've got to resell so i've got a wardrobe i've got two wardrobes in my bedroom one wardrobe is dedicated to reselling stock and that is full of reselling it's just a wardrobe full i've got a couple of boxes in there and i've got a couple of boxes on the top of the wardrobe and that is all the stock i've got i've got very minimal stock and i know i probably need more stock but i haven't got the time to source it and do i go into the wholesaler route and then flogging more items off more like bulk buy stuff I don't know, but I feel at the moment like I feel really demotivated. <laughs> I don't want to bring you all down because I'm quite a cheerful person, but I'm trying to look at different ways of moving forward. I feel like life at the moment is giving me quite a few obstacles. Like I'm struggling to find somewhere to move to. I need to be in the right place at the right time. It's like that with reselling. Charity shops, I think you've got to be in the right place at the right time. And I think it's like that with looking for somewhere to move to. I've got to be in the right place at the right time strike whilst the iron is hot <laughs> effectively i'm just feeling a bit demotivated because ebay is shocking ebay has been shocking for a few weeks few months it is very saturated but you can still make sales and i think that i am debating whether to not give up reselling but to change how i'm doing things I think once I've moved, it's going to open up a lot more opportunities for me because I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to be able to hopefully do it a little bit bigger, a bigger scale, because I'm very restricted with what I can and can't do right now with my circumstances. Once I've moved, which is why I'm eager to move. I'm eager to move because I'm going to be closer to work, so it's going to be less driving. I love driving, but the job I do is part of it is to do with driving as well. So we do a lot of driving at work as well as driving to and from work and everything's safe don't i don't want people putting in the comments oh you know you've got to be driving guidelines and rules i i'm aware of this so please do not lecture me because i'm already aware i'm already aware and i know some people are probably worried but i make sure i've got enough rest in between driving it's fine anyway i just think that once i've moved it can open up a lot more opportunity for me but i don't know which way this is going to take me i do feel a bit sort of i don't know which way life's gonna go my priorities my commitments are my full-time job and obviously everything your personal life things you've got to do all those you've got to prioritize all those bits first my reselling is just something i do as and when really it's whenever i can get outsourcing because i can't go outsourcing as regular as a lot of people i go through phases of being able to do a lot of sourcing and then i might not be able to source for about a month or two i've not been able to get out this week because mainly because i've been unwell but sometimes work commitments i haven't i'm not able to because i'm so busy at work and then when i finish work i'm just exhausted and i just think maybe reselling isn't for me in that sense but i just i don't know and i'm not going to give up i'm not going to stop doing youtube but i wanted to do a video because this time last year i stopped doing youtube videos because oh, i'm going to give up reselling oh that's it it's the end of the world and oh no that's it and i stopped doing youtube videos <laughs> i don't want to do that again and i said i wouldn't do that again but then i came back with a crazy hairstyle because i had it all cut off and then <laughs> carried on doing videos carried on doing reselling but i had quite a few months of where i didn't do any reselling and that's where i'm getting to at the moment where i'm not really doing much i've got quite a few items to list but i just i just don't really see the point because it's not bringing in anything and i sound like you know when you get people who whinge about everything in life i feel like one of those and i'm not like that because what i tend to do is if i see a problem <laughs> i tend to try and find a way around it but at the moment i'm not finding a way around it i will find another solution to this but I don't know what to do. I've even thought about making my own website, like having my own website and doing it that way and starting off that way. But there's, I need to price up. Is that even worth it? I don't know. And these, these are all the questions. Should I rent a storage unit? I don't think that's a, I think that's a bit of a ridiculous idea considering the majority of my stock fits into a wardrobe. <laughs> so I haven't got that much stock. And is there any point? I don't think there's a point to that. 
but then would that be the motivation of I'm going to work as in I'm going to the storage unit I'm going to work so I have to do I do more I don't know I don't I don't think that's a good idea though I'm not really completely impressed with that idea but not that I'm not impressed with it but it's something that I don't know if to do I'm not really wanting to go down the storage unit road if that's a way of putting it because I don't think it's a good idea basically what I need to do is relocate and things are gonna get a lot easier I think with with work because I'm closer to work but with reselling as well because I'm very restricted at the moment with what I can and can't do and <laughs> I don't know I really don't know what to do because I don't want to bring everyone down. I was only going to do a quick five minutes. Here I am. I haven't done a video today. I'll be back on Sunday. And here I am, 20 minutes later, moaning <laughs> about, get the violin out. Where is me? It's the end of the world for Rebecca. <laughs> Throwing my toys out of the front. I'm being really silly. This is not what I'm intending to do. I don't want people to feel sorry for me in the comments. That This is not the intention of the video. The intention of the video is to show the ups and downs of my life and... I'm very sorry if this has offended anybody or upset people. I don't mean that. But sometimes you just need to have a bit of a rant and get it off your chest. I will also say something else. That reselling is very lonely. Now, I'm not massively in the reselling community. Because believe it or not, and I know you're probably going to laugh at this statement. I'm very introverted. If you see me out in public, I'll talk to you. If you see me at work, I'll chat. It's part of my job. I have to be able to talk. I can communicate. I, I can talk forever. But online, on a forum. Forum? Do we have forums? God, that, that's something in the 1990s. I'm going on a forum. <laughs> do we still have forums? But anyway, <laughs> it's group pages. No, is it a page on Facebook or whatever? I'm in a group on Facebook. A forum. A forum, that takes me back. Right. But, well, what was I talking about? That was it. So I'm very introverted in the sense of talking on social media. I'll reply back to my comments. However, I do struggle with group chats, groups, not because I'm scared, but because I don't really, I just feel really exposed. And considering I don't mind talking to people out in public and I'm on YouTube, I know that doesn't make sense. But I never know how to word things and is somebody going to get offended? Have I said the right thing? Is it misinterpreted? Sometimes I do struggle with wording things and I don't want to come across as being sort of, what's her problem? And it's not, I'm just genuinely, I don't know how to word things like normal people. So this is why I shy away from it. But I know the reseller community is quite large, but I'm not really in any groups and pages. But maybe I should, because reselling does get lonely. And sometimes I feel like this and think I've got no sort of direction. And especially when you don't really know what you're doing and you're winging most of it. Now, there is a method to some of my reselling, but a lot of it I am experimenting as I go along because I haven't got a clue. I'm not from a business background. I've never worked in retail. I've never done anything like this before. My background is nothing to do with this. And for me, I feel a bit lost. I struggle talking, opening up in the sense of, I need some help, help me. Because at work, you can ask one of your colleagues, you can say, what do you think of this? Should I have done it this way? What would you have done if this was your situation sort of thing? You can you can ask for feedback in that sense. Or if you're working with somebody, they can give you feedback. Or you can have a bit of a discussion. This is what we're presented with. This is what I'm thinking. Is this what you're thinking? But with reselling, I can't talk to somebody. I go and knock on my next door neighbour's door and say, oh, what do you think of this? He's going to be like, what are you on about? <laughs> so, no. But reselling can be so lonely. And... I'm not lonely, I don't feel lonely. Again, get the violin out. <laughs> but what I mean is it's, there's not always a direction of where to go. And I find that really exhausting sometimes because I do research and I look into things myself and I'll independently speak to certain like companies or whatever if I need a bit of advice about certain things. Actually, it's nice to hear from people who actually are doing what you want to do. And know that you're on the right path. Not to hold my hand and do it for me. But to make me think that actually. <laughs> it's okay. Because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. 
but then you get demotivated and think what's the point but anyway i don't want to keep moaning i feel like i've done a lot of moaning and that's not what i'm intending to do i feel all right in myself i'm hoping that i'll be able to get a video out on sunday but if this video isn't out tonight wednesday it'll be out thursday morning i do apologize if you've watched this if you're the first time watching me i'm not usually this miserable and moaning but sometimes you have to get it off your chest I've just hit a point in life where I feel like life is giving me a lot of challenges, a lot of tests, and I just feel like I'm struggling to pass through them. And I'm just really struggling to find what to do. It's like, why are you giving me these challenges? <laughs> Which I like a good challenge, but it's like, am I doing the right thing? I know everybody's circumstances are different, everybody's life is different, and you've got to do what's best for you at the end of the day, but I don't really know, I feel like I'm winging life, and I feel like, as an adult, when I was like 16, I used to look up to people my age and think, wow, you got your life together, you really know what you're doing, <laughs> I'm not winging it, I'm just winging life, is this what all adults do? I mean, I feel like I, I think I'm having a midlife crisis. I'm like, oh, that is ter terrible. Like, I have some midlife crisis. <laughs> I mean, considering how old I am and like Pikachu sitting here. I mean, come on. <laughs> You'd think I was in my early 20s, wouldn't you? You'd think I was in my 20s. No. <laughs> Little bit older than that, mate. It's silly things like that that keep me going, like Pikachu and just. You've got to have some interest in life, haven't you? Things that keep you going. I've waffled too much, though. So if you have watched this video to the end, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. But I hope you're all doing well. I really hope that you're getting more sales than me because it's shocking. I am waffling. I am very sorry to be so negative, but I'm going to be more positive in my next video. I've got some ideas of what YouTube videos I'm going to be doing. I just need to get the motivation to do them. I think I'm in a bit hard on myself, but... That is life. <laughs> you have to take the good with the bad. And when you go through the bad, you have to just get on with it. I hope you're all making sales on eBay or whatever platform you're selling on. And I really hope that your sales are a lot better than mine. Because I've only, like I say, I've only had two sales this month so far. And it's just shocking. So I'm hoping that you've had more sales than that. I am going to be sitting down and having a good hard think about what to do moving forwards. So I'm still keeping the YouTube channel. I'm still doing my reselling, but I need to think about what to do. And I think things will get a little bit easier once I've moved. I'm just very restricted at the moment. And I think it's getting me down a bit. Anyway, that's where I am. I'm going to stop moaning because you're probably fed up. This was only going to be a quick five minute catch up and it's turned into half an hour. But you know how I like to talk. I'm going to leave it there for now. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in my next video when I'm a lot happier. And I'm a lot more cheerful. <laughs> so take care and I will see you soon.